Is that bearing gonna, is it gonna fall if you let go? I don't really know how that happened, but... Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For the ones that don't know, my name is Bella, and if you are new or haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because it helps get the channel out there. So, you hear that squealing noise? So for a long time, I had told you guys that I finally want to fix that squealing that's coming from the car because I've changed the belts, I've added belt conditioner, I've changed the majority of the pulleys, and so what I'm thinking, it might be the tensioner that's causing the squealing. I'm gonna head to Z1. I'm going to buy an idler pulley delete kit so that just in case the tensioner, like me adjusting and playing around with it, doesn't work, then we'll have that. Fingers crossed because this is so annoying. I don't know, it's weird. It's very bipolar. It first happens when I turn the car on, and then sometimes it'll happen when I'm driving too. Also, thank you guys for watching my videos. Like, it honestly helps a lot because now I monetize on YouTube, and if you guys don't know what that means, that means I can now get paid from YouTube. do that where it comes off I mean stops uh, making the noise when I put it in neutral because sometimes it'll still keep going Okay, so I got the parts. I got the belt because obviously when you take or you get rid of um, one of the pulleys, the belt is going to be shorter. So it comes with the serpentine belt or the new serpentine belt and then it comes with this little spacer. Um, we're going to install that tomorrow and just cross our fingers that it works because at this point I just don't know. One week later. It has been literally a week since the last clip, right? And so something literally just happened with the G. Um, so yeah, that's how you know it's cold. Was driving <clears throat> to work and the steering wheel automatically just started getting stiff. The battery light came on and I was like, fuck. You know, go to check under the hood and long behold, you have a freaking torn belt literally ripped off and I'm going to show you guys in a minute. There it is. I don't really know how that happened, but uh, yeah, I mean the belt wasn't hella tight. That's what I'm like confused about. Holy shit. It's completely off. <clears throat> that sucks. But it's okay because we have another one. We I showed you guys the kit already, I believe. Um, so we have another one. So it's all good. Now we have a souvenir. And now we wait. Her situation is different because her belt ripped. So typically, what we did to get it off, and I'm sure she'll show it in the clip. What we did was uh, use the belt to create tension and take off the four bolts. Uh, but hers is broken, so typically everybody was saying to leave the belt on, loosen the four bolts a little bit, then release the tension a little bit on the bottom, but with the tensioners. But us can't do that right now, so <laughs> we just went ahead and took out the four bolts. It's gonna be top pulley. It might be a little bit stuck on, which is okay, it happens. It might be hard to see, but it's just this one, and then you just slide it out. So we're supposed to remove these little three fasteners. I think we're just removing the whole thing. There goes one. That's a really long bolt. I went ahead and just pulled this out. I want to show you guys where this goes very quickly. Uh, there's going to be that 14 that you pull out. Just slide this little spacer into that area right here, which is by, I guess the best way to gauge it is by the alternator. So yeah, I'm going to slide that in and then yeah, and then we just bolt everything back up. You don't need this anymore, so this is gone. Said we're gonna. We're moving like a pound or three. It's gonna be really fast. Dude, you're gonna be so fast, bro. <laughs> no one's gonna have time to say, is that VT Bella? <laughs> just scoot. 
Yeah, getting up. Oh, wait, did you get it? Is that Baron gonna, is it gonna fall if you let go? No, but I wouldn't touch it. Okay. I would immediately just grab Okay. See, sometimes it just needs a feminine touch, you know what I mean? Oh my God. You loosened it for me, so. What? <laughs> we just got under and just kind of loosened it a little bit so that we could just have more slack to put the, the belt on and then just slid it on. But now the real test is to see if this thing will slip off when you start it. Here, we'll switch. Okay, or, no, or the screw. Yeah. So far, no squealing. Oh, 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 spoke too soon. Well, the belt's staying on, that's good. Here, switch. I don't know, there's a lot of stress when it comes to these little, little tedious things about trying to fix like a sound or something. You can never just pinpoint it. You know? Why does the car feel faster? Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'll turn on the car again, because we made a little stop. We're gonna do final test to see if the car squeals. done everything that I normally would to where like the belt or whatever was squeaking would normally happen I will definitely continue to update you guys in the next video just in case and just kind of give it like you know the rest of this week and see how it does um, but so far so good and god um, it's honestly just been nice to you know like not have to worry about a belt squealing because dude, it gets embarrassing especially when I try to go to meets or especially in the morning since I work really early, I just feel so bad for the neighbors too. Um, even though they're chill, but... And surprisingly, like this install was very freaking easy. And I was not expecting it. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because it does help get the chance. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.